Are you serious? What? Are you serious? We're talking hail. Great hail has fallen in Colorado last night. Now, hang on a minute. Mm. <laughs> Grab a Bible. If you don't have, do you have your, if you have Texas Blood Lake, grab your book. If you haven't got it, go to my website, find out more about it. This, this book I wrote uh, has to do with the great lake there in Texas that turned blood red. And then all of the plagues that came up on the earth. Well, one of them, folks, is hail. And hail, it's also, also in the book I break down for you. Not only all the plagues that's come up on Texas and around America and around the globe and the earthquakes and different things and sinkholes and all that. But also we break down the ten plagues of Egypt that, that happened during the days of Pharaoh and how God used every plague to destroy one of the idol gods of Egypt. It's all in the book. Wow! Prophecy being fulfilled, folks. Look at this. Um, hail! Rita of Oklahoma got this to me. I'm going to show you some pictures. You've got to be kidding me. Hail, it says possible tornadoes, were in Denver. A storm system that moved through Colorado yesterday brought hail, heavy winds, even tornadoes to the Denver, Colorado area. By far, this is the most visible damage was caused by inches of hail. We don't know how many. It was thick. Cars could not drive through the streets. Now look, folks, we had this huge hailstorm in Texas. Did I say Texas? We've had killer hail in China this year. And now this. Look at this. Forgive me on the Paul Baby technology. Look at that. That's hail. That's hail. This is June. This is June, and that is hail. Look at that. Matter of fact, check this out. Look at this picture. More pictures coming in. What? That, look how high that hail is in water. Look at that car. Are you serious? Are you serious? This is being reported by Fox News. You can check it out. Matter of fact, this is the Weather Channel reporting this. What? And wait, I've got more. And wait, there's more. Look at this. Look at this. This almost looks like snow, but it's not snow. It's hail. Hail that looks like snow. It was so thick. You couldn't drive your car through it. What's going on? Look at this bus. What's going on? That's hail? Are you serious? Is this in the Bible? It is. It is in the Bible. And matter of fact, let me read to you what's disturbing about this. There's been great hail in the Bible. It's one of the plagues of Egypt. You know, God told me to write this book. People get mad when you say that, but it's the truth. Because I had 28 years of ministry. I never wrote a book before until I wrote the Hosea Prophecy. And that's because there had never been a Hosea Prophecy fulfilled before. But when the, blood, the lake turned blood red in Texas, the Lord said, stop and take a look at 2011. Look at all the events that's happened in Texas, just the state of Texas. And it was shocking. A 700-foot sinkhole. Cattle dying. 12% of the cattle disappeared in Texas last year. They went from 5 million head of cattle to 4.4. Many cattle just fell over dead or dehydration or disease. Look, there was great hail in Texas. These, and so God said, write this book. Look at all the plagues in Texas. And then go look at all the plagues of Egypt. And look at why they were there. And look what idol gods were destroyed. Break it all down and explain to America that they need to repent of their sins for the atrocities for the, uh, the murder, for the mayhem, for the, for the idol worship, for the neglect of God. God is trying to send us a message to repent. In the Hosea prophecy, we know what was going on here. You had the dead birds and dead fish and dead cows, okay? And it tells you it's because of man's sin, because there's no truth, there's no mercy, there's no knowledge of God in the land. Because of the swearing, the lying, the killing, the stealing, and committing adultery, God said, but the land, he had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, and the land was going to mourn. He said, your cattle are going to die. Your birds are going to fall from the sky. And the fish of the sea, yea, they're going to be taken away. All right, so both of those books had to do with end-time 
prophecy and end time apocalyptic events. Okay, since then, we've had earthquakes, we've had tornadoes, hurricanes, typhoons, different types of things, and hail, hail, and hail. And now we have hail in Denver, Colorado. Let me read you what the Bible says. In Revelation chapter 11, I'll begin reading at verse 16. I'll just start there. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped God, saying, We give thee thanks, O Lord God Almighty, which art and was and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings, and voices, and thunderings, and an earthquake, and great hail. Biblical apocalyptic signs happening right before our very eyes. Are you saved? Seriously, are you saved? Are you serious? Are you saved? I mean, I'm talking about being born again by the blood of Jesus Christ, receiving Christ as your Savior, repenting of your sins, and coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. We're living in apocalyptic times. Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ, and I want to know, are you ready to meet him? I'll be right back. We've got more to talk about. If you want to send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel, go to the channel page, private message me, title it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I'll be right back.